Morning, YouTube. So this is the day after priming of the dresser. What we're going to do is we're going to sand down everything and prepare it for its uh, final coat, which is I'm going to start coating it with a latex white paint using an air sprayer. So the other thing too I'm going to check for is any other nicks or dings that I had missed. Patch them up now so that when we go to spray on the paint, it won't show. So with that said, let's get to work. So what I was going to do for painting, because I was going to do the uh, web frame, I just wanted to see if the, this concept would work, where I could screw in each panel and then spray them standing up. But the problem with that is, is <laughs> the air sprayer doesn't work. So I have to do it the old school way with the paint and brush. So this method is completely out the window. <laughs> so. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put a tarp over these two horses along with a large piece of wood and I'm just going to paint the, the each part with a roller and a brush and then flip them over and put them on what we call standoffs. So what we're going to do right now is we need to make little pieces of wood with a nail in it so that I could put it on the side I don't care about. So I'll paint the side that I don't care about first, flip it onto the nails, and then go from there. So, we'll see how it goes. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand down all my parts again, but this time with 220 grit, just to give it a nice fine surface for the paint to stick to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll on the paint using just a standard latex paint uh, roller and then I'm going to brush it back to, to make it look nice. Um, hopefully the nap will help me really push the paint into the remaining pores of the plywood. So let's do this. camera overheated so I lost most of this footage so what I've been doing is I've been using the nap roller just get my coverage on my parts and then I go back with that 
wide brush. I think it's a four inch brush. And I just brushed in some paint uh, brush marks just to give it a nice look to it. Now this is the first coat, so again, it, you're going to have to put multiple coats on a project, especially something like this. So it's not going to look finished after that first pass. You're going to probably have to take somewhere between two to three coats, just like polyurethane, to get that nice shine and finish that you desire for your project. Now, ideally, this would have been easier with a paint sprayer, because then I would have nice consistent coverage and I wouldn't have to worry about brush marks and the finish would probably be a lot smoother but you know things happen so just got to work around the problems and find a solution So that's all I could do for today. Uh, uh, my goal is over the weekend, over this week, um, we're going to coat uh, all the, the uh, necessary amount. Uh, we're gonna put the ne necessary amount of coats on all of these parts when we have, while we have good weather. Uh, and then the same will be true for the web frame and the other parts. Again, I'm not gonna paint all the way into the web frame because again there are going to be drawers inside and i don't need to waste the paint um, but i will coat as much as i can that is seen so that i don't end up ruining the aesthetic of the dresser so actually uh what happened was after i stopped filming that day i was literally about to throw this paint sprayer in the trash and you know i instead took it apart and I did what I normally do is I, I try to fix it and instead of getting frustrated with it I took the time to fix my paint sprayer oil it correctly and free the piston which I had to do with a hammer and a chisel and now it works so here's the nice thing is that I show you how to do the painting technique without a paint sprayer so my goal for the next video is actually to show you how to paint the rest of this dresser so the rest of the coats with a paint sprayer. So I'll actually be able to show you all the correct techniques and everything that goes along with it. Um, the other thing too I'm just showing real quick is I actually put the dresser together and it's coming together pretty good. I, I like the height, I like the shape and the design, the scroll work. So with that said, next the next video I'd like to cover is I'd like to cover how to use the paint sprayer using the technique I talked about using the horse next time. Uh, with that said, I know it's the day after Memorial Day, but again, every day should be a day that you should thank your veterans for everything they do for you guys. So again, if you see a veteran walking through the streets, thank them. Uh, with that said, I hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll see you guys around. Have a good one. Bye.